I'm Dr. Nick Delgado. It's exciting to be here in Los Angeles. I was born and raised in Southern California. And I think that some of my fondest memories and some of my most painful memories occurred here. And I've had the opportunity to travel all over the world. And the book that I wrote that came out on Valentine's Day, how many of you have already got a copy of Mastering Love, Sex, and Intimacy? Let me see a show of hands. Have you ever had that question if your parents have sex or not, and you go, yuck. Or do grandparents have sex? I'm a grandpa, so I hope it's okay. So whatever I'm about to say, I'm going to share with you that the more often you have sex, ideally quality sex, love and intimacy, it's very likely you'll live a lot longer. Certainly it'll be a better quality life and less boring. And so, with that understanding, the reason I was motivated to write this book is because although I've been in the health field for 40 years, I was Tony Robbins' life coach. How many here have heard of Tony Robbins? I helped to present and conduct programs at Master University in Hawaii and all over the world with Tony. And it was a fantastic opportunity to work directly with the man, Tony Robbins. And through Tony, I met a lot of other fantastic educators and speakers. And one of which I met at Master University in Hawaii was John Gray. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus, a very famous author. And I often got to share the stage in New York on what they would title the sex panel. In New York, I kind of felt like uninhibited. I could just say whatever I wanted to say. Should I be inhibited here with this audience in LA, or is it OK to just say what's on my mind? Let it rock. Oh, you're from New York, so now we have permission. Another New Yorker. Now we really have permission. Oh, we got, we got, we got, we got enough uh, majority vote. Uh, the rest of you didn't raise your hand, so we're, we're good. Is there a correlation between sexuality and longevity? And I would like to say that the reality is when John Gray wrote uh, the quote to my book, this practical guide for creating lasting love and intimacy provides new insights to make you a star in the bedroom. How many here would like to be a star in the bedroom? Yeah? I like that. You already are. I'm going to ask a question. Short of hooking up to EKGs, electrical monitors that can actually measure the amplitude amplitude of physiologic changes in a woman's body and actually measure the brain function where during orgasm a woman has over 30 different biochemical changes, stimulation so amazing that it affects the most massive areas of the female brain and nothing else does that in a woman. And that question that I often ask, that I explain in the book the answer to, that if you remind me, I'll answer you if you already know the answer. There's only one way to know for sure when a woman achieves orgasm. Only one. <coughs> Raise your hand if you know the answer to that. How would a man know if a woman has achieved orgasm and there's only one physiologic known way to recognize if she's achieved orgasm or not. She yells out. She yells out. Okay, that's interesting. She expresses herself. Do you remember uh, the movie um, Harry, Harry uh, met, Sally. met Sally? Yeah. And in the restaurant, she went on to prove a point that she re achieved such an amazing orgasm that everyone in the restaurant was watching her the ultimate act as an actress, not the ultimate act. And so sex researchers wondered when they questioned Dr. Kinsey, by this way, in Indiana University, did it, the most massive polling of, of sexual function that had ever been published. And a statistic came up, and that statistic was repeated over 50 years later in Masters and Johnson's research and a Cosmopolitan research, Cosmopolitan magazine, that statistic comes up over and over again. And that is, 
that anywhere from 60, I'll say 69 to 75% of the women do not achieve orgasm during every sexual encounter with their mate. That's the majority. And most of them don't admit they didn't achieve it, and most of them want to pretend they achieved it. And if they didn't achieve it, they want to think they somehow felt something that was like an orgasm but wasn't really. And any woman who's masturbated knows what an orgasm is. Occasionally women, maybe due to upbringing, religious or otherwise, have not achieved orgasm for whatever reason. And so they would actually know what it's like to experience an orgasm. I had a lady at my um, book signing event where I did a, a brief speech and she said, she had never achieved an orgasm. She had never really touched herself in such a fashion to know. And she has difficulty to achieve orgasm. And the whole idea of libido and sexual interest, even though she's a very beautiful woman, probably in her mid-20s. And it's interesting to me that how many here do not know the answer to the question to absolutely 100% know whether your woman has achieved an orgasm or ladies whether you've achieved orgasm, I think you know what it's like to experience one, but a show of hands, how many here could not tell me for sure, and if I call on you, I'm gonna test you, but could not tell me for sure, what is the true sign that a woman has achieved orgasm? Raise your hand if you don't know, just be honest. That's cool, okay. And you're not alone, because it was written up in a medical textbook that people rarely talk about. Who reads medical textbooks but me? And why did I read that medical textbook? I was that friend that was told I'm a lousy lover. And so for me, I searched all the literature I could find. I read every book on the subject and also books written by women about how to please women, which was much more accurate than the typical books that people were reading. So in that understanding, in that pursuit, conclusive evidence was when Dr. Kinsey asked, and by the way, there was a movie of, of Dr. Alfred Kinsey, and it received an Academy Award, a very well-known actor uh, played the part of Kinsey. How many saw that movie or even knew it exists? So, uh, what? pretty aware audience, so almost a third of you have seen that movie. Highly recommended to watch the movie, but even the movie doesn't even get into what it takes it portrays certain things during intercourse that implies that that's the principal way for a woman to achieve orgasm. And if she doesn't, according to some sex researchers, including Sigmund Freud, unless a woman achieves orgasm during sexual intercourse, it's immature form of orgasm. In other words, masturbation or oral sex is not a true orgasm. It's immature, according to Freud. But on Freud's deathbed, he stated, he regrets he does not understand women. <laughs> and he doesn't. He would lay him back on a couch, they would do 600 sessions of psychoanalysis and go into, well, you must have had a problem with your mother and you know, your father and all these things and never get to the core of why the woman was not achieving orgasm. Dr. Kinsey asked five gynecologists to examine the genitalia of 900 women. They found 13 sensitive areas, principally external, none of which were in the vagina. In fact, they found very few pleasure nerve, endi nerve endings inside the actual vagina. Stroked, touched, felt, virtually none. And you know, I know adult cons up the street at uh, the, uh, L oh, you knew, <laughs> LA, been LA Convention Center. And what do we portray in porn? Some of you watch occasionally. It's a man getting a woman warmed up, and he quickly, as soon as he feels she's warmed up after touching her, licking her, caressing her, whispering in her ear, and he thinks she's re reached a height of, of excitement, and he enters her and goes about anywhere from five minutes to 30 minutes of intercourse. And then she screams wildly, implying that she's had the most amazing orgasm, and you're all led to believe that's exactly what all men and women were designed to experience. True? 
100% true. So when you examine and find the 13 points, there are really only three types of orgasms. Can anyone answer that for a woman? Three orgasms. Anyone name one of them? Clitoral. Clitoral. What else? G-spot. And is the G-spot an extension of the clitoris, actually? It is. It's a four-inch organ. That's an extension of the clitoris. And what's the third? No. I'll leave that one open-ended. You don't know the answer. Oh, you can, you can, you can, um, you can uh, warm up the system and do it at the, have intercourse and stimulate the clitoris at the same time. Sure. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's good. That's good. So. True fact, a woman has 8,000 ple uh, pleasure nerve endings that's only purpose is to experience pleasure. There's no other function of the clitoris but to experience pleasure. So we're built in genetically for some reason that a woman is designed to have massive pleasure and ideally in the human race to seek a partner to achieve that pleasure. But ironically during intercourse, a woman ever rarely ever receives that unless she's in what position during intercourse to have the clitoris stimulated? What position? Military? I like that. Style. It's too big. I think facing. Headstand. Headstand. Oh, I like that one. Not missionary. If a woman is on top, she can mount a man and she can rub her clitoris on the man's pubic bone and it has nothing to do with his male penis no matter how big it is and she can and may orgasm. My friend was with a group of 21 women during one weekend and he had one woman come up and after he had pleased 20 women the 21st said it's impossible for me to have an orgasm and she said no one's ever been able to give me an orgasm. I, assure you it's impossible. And my friend then asked her, well, how do you achieve orgasm when you do, if you do? And she said the key words, on top. She gave away the key clue. So then my friend said, well, lay back, just relax. And there's what's called a bell curve. A bell curve during the course of one hour 10 or 20 percent of the women will orgasm within the first 10 to 20 minutes. At 30 minutes, maybe half the women will if there was 100 women. In this case, it was 21. And at the end of an hour, the rest of the women, 10 or so, the 80, 90th percentile, would finally achieve their orgasm. Either they needed more stimulation, they needed more mental stimulation, which what is the most powerful organ in the body that relates to sex? The brain. Why do you think romance novels are so popular? Men rarely, maybe you do. How many men enjoy and really like to read romance novels? Raise your hand if you do. How many, how many women enjoy reading romance novels or like Fifty Shades of Grey? I know when I went to the movie, there was a whole audience and it was all women and there was only three men and I was one of them in the audience. I said, guys, you missed out. So when you think about it, after one hour, he figured out how much intensity, how much direct stimulation, how fast licking her clitoris at about 20 licks per second. Per second? Good catch. Good catch. How many licks could you do if it was eight licks per second? One? Oh my God. One? No, you couldn't. So it'd have to be one lick per second. So in 30 seconds, you could accomplish 30 licks. True? But it would also be, do you know what's the strongest muscle in the human body? Do you know what the strongest? The tongue. The tongue. Most men have a weak tongue because they don't use it. 
And if you have an issue with feminine sense and pleasure, do water sex first. I, my friend actually designed a device into the, the faucet and it ran directly and she could take the water stream. Have you ever seen a woman in a swimming pool? Where does she gravitate to in the swimming pool? The jets or a hot tub. So that woman's probably had two or three orgasms during the time you've been in the hot tub and nothing to do with you. So if, if that makes you feel comfortable for both of you to have clean, quote, sex, great. Use a little coconut oil. It's an antimicrobial. And learn how to please your woman. But direct pleasure may be too much. Direct stimulation for some women, depending on their menstrual cycle, their hormonal levels. And if they pull away, like they're pushing you away or pulling back, you're probably giving too much direct pressure in an area that's too sensitive at that time. But once you learn the art that's explained in my book, Mastering Love, Sex, and Intimacy, and in my online course, you'll understand that 100% of the women will achieve orgasm 100% of the time. Why is that important? Guys, when you have sex, do you expect to have orgasm every time? Virtually yes. Unless you build your energy and you, you're kind of of that philosophy and the third or fourth encounter with your lady, you have so much built up energy that it's at that time that you finally orgasm. That's cool. So the G-spot is located where? Can the penis reach the G-spot in most or any circumstance? The answer is yes. How many raise your hand and say yes? How many say no? The rest of you aren't even responding. Since you responded, I'm going to give you a product called Stay Young. It has nitric oxide. It helps to build up the intensity of pleasure in sex. It helps, uh, it has astragalus. The reason the product's called Stay Young. It helps lengthen the telomeres, which keeps you looking young and fit and healthy. And since I'm a grandpa and turning 65, I like the idea that I'm still able to engage and have sex every day if I like and want, because it's shown that if you have sex only once a week, it's likely you'll die 30, 70% sooner than a man who has sex at least three times a week. And that's known based on heart disease, prostate cancer studies, and other research. So knowing that, the stimulation, the frequency, but men build a woman up to a point, and then they stop, and they mount her, and she's lost all feelings, and now she's lost the chance to have the O. True? Yes. If a woman, I'll be a little graphic, were doing this to you, and did it with the right pressure and frequency, and then all of a sudden stopped, and then grabbed your scrotum and started tugging for about an hour, <laughs> would any man in this room actually reach orgasm? <laughs> I think not, unless you're so pent up and, and frustrated and it's been a long time. That's exactly what you're doing with your lady when you don't know whether she's orgasmed or not. And if you stay to the end, I'll tell you to know whether she's orgasm or not so she won't have to fake it anymore. So the G-spot, the clitoris, the, the legs of the clitoris wrap down almost, uh, how should I, you know, like two fingers. And so the G-spot can be felt if a lady lays down on her back and you reach up and a little to the right of 12 noon, a little to the right, and you rub up far enough, if you push your fingers up high enough, she will achieve the deepest form of orgasm that's much more sustainable than clitoral orgasm. What, about the skin? what was the third? What was the third orgasm? I didn't tell you. Cervical. It's very unique and different. You know the Kegel muscles? Some women strengthen their Kegel muscles while you're watching the movies. Can you all squeeze your Kegels right now? You all know how to do that? <laughs> Good job. I like the openness of my audience. Good for you. You already were doing it. Some women have such strong Kegel muscles, it blows your mind to the point where, oh my gosh, that is firmer than the firmest grip you would ever experience. Now, if a woman's chief function in a relationship is to please her man, it's fairly easy for a woman, relatively speaking, to please a man. It's yet, it takes 20 minutes for a woman to warm up to reach the place where she's even close to 
letting you enter into her inner mind and subconscious to allow herself to feel free to have that wonderful explosive orgasm. I think it's built in genetically. I think women, remember that movie, The Notebook, where the lady had Alzheimer's and every time the husband showed up, he had to go through this whole thing to explain to her who he was and why he loved her and this whole discussion. That's how women are built. They are built that way. It's a filter, so you guys don't run around getting every woman pregnant. She has a filter to decide, are you smart enough? Are you kind enough? Are you really going to nurture her? Do you really love her? And she picks up on all these signals because of the love languages. If you don't understand kinesthetic, feeling, holding, visual, giving gifts, dressing up, looking sharp, auditory, speaking in such a fashion that you tell her, I love you with real passion that she picks up at the subconscious level and recognizes that you're sincere and when you say that, instead of, oh yeah, I love you. <laughs> she goes, but you really don't. Yeah, you don't. I mean, it's questionable when you say it, I love you versus I love you, darling. So you look at acts of, acts of, um, acts of service, right? In this day and age, women have two roles. You have to go out and earn a living. You have to take care of the kids. You have to prepare meals. You have so many crazy tasks, way beyond most guys. Guys are still sometimes locked in the, oh, I don't make dinner. I do, I love to cook. I have a cookbook. I, I, I enjoy making foods. It's kind of stress management for me. But the reality is, except I make oil-free vegan, whole natural foods. I don't do the keto, the paleo, all the animal products that clog up your arteries, the male organ, the small, artery in the blood in the in the human body that the first sign of ed is clogged arteries before you have your heart attack but you guys can keep eating meat that's okay because i'll remain virile and when all your ladies are not pleased anymore <laughs> no i didn't say that i didn't say that so the reality is do you know one way to stimulate the deep cervical orgasm if a woman truly surrenders herself and you trim your nails, you shave properly. The only shaver I know of, either a good close shave, I don't like to use the razors, they cut you and stuff. I like a bronze shaver. And I can't tell you how many women said, thank you, my guy is always scratchy and it hurts. And I've told him before, but he doesn't listen. If your date hears you shaving just before you're gonna sit down and, and hang out together, she knows she's in for a good night with a bronze shaver. I'm not, I don't sell them, I don't, I'm just telling you they work even have a portable bronze shaver. And if your guy is smart enough, he brings this into the bedroom, which I learned from Masters and Johnson is 100% successful in women who are quote, non-orgasmic. They will come, come high water or not, on low or high setting, find the exact place she wants to hold that vibrator and she will come like a rocket. She will come, she will come so often that some of you will think, my gosh, I can't tear, her, tear it off of her. <laughs> All night, into the morning, you hear that vibrator going, and, and you're already asleep. <laughs> and I've had some women, I've said this, no, my friend said this, I've had my friends say this, that, um, what kind of vibrator do you have under your bed? Is it a Hitachi magic wand? And the lady's on the phone going, how'd you know? Because it's the best. So if you bring toys into the bedroom, are you intimidated, guys? Why should you be? It makes your job a little easier because some nights maybe you're not up to or you're tired or you didn't quite you know, get the technique down that she likes. Or why would you engage in intimacy and love unless your intent is to both have an orgasm either simultaneously or all together that night? Whether it be within 10 minutes, 30 minutes, or an hour, while you're having intercourse, if you enjoy that, and that's pleasing to you because that is pleasing to you during intercourse, and then she holds a vibrator while she's on all fours under her clitoris, and you both come together at the same time. I once, I didn't do that, my friend once did a talk in front of a group of 1,300 medical doctors and said exactly that and held up the vibrator and the whole audience was in horror. <gasps> Oh my God, I can't believe he said that. That ta talk was banned. They never allowed that person to speak in Las Vegas ever again until 2012 when they got a little bit more mature and they had a sex module which was separate from the main general conference and they invited this speaker back, which was me. Sorry. 
<laughs> I have several vibrators. I travel with the vibrator. No, my friend travels with a vibrator. Let's correct that. So the circular model of female response is quite well defined. There's desire, seduction, sensation, excitement, plateau, achieving orgasm, surrender, and then after reflection, and guess what? Resolution, and then it starts all over again for women. Men are different. Men reach their excitement phase, and once they achieve orgasm, oxytocin, the pleasure hormone, releases, and prolactin, and it's kind of like an estrogen-like molecule, and they get sleepy and fall over and go to sleep. It's great for sleep, not so good for the relationship. Bonobos monkeys are a 94% genetic match to us humans. They're vegan, they're plant-based uh, animals, and they have sex constantly throughout the day. And sex for them is defined as touching, holding, caressing. It isn't always intercourse. It's oral sex. It might be anal sex. I mean, they do everything. They are the closest being on the planet to us humans. They live in Zaire, Africa. They look like chimps, but they're not chimpanzees. Chimpanzees are known to hunt down prey and eat animals. Bonobos monkeys don't. They are truly the love monkey. If we went to Capitol Hill, the White House, and we just got our senators and representatives and president laid more often, we wouldn't have so much war. That's what they do when they're in a fight. They make love. True. Good, good, Tim. When a, a warring bonobo monkey comes to another tribe, and they, instead of sending their other fighting monkeys, they send the ladies out to coo, caress, please him and disarm him and no war takes place between the tribes. It's a, it's a known fact. Cactus Pete has it right. <laughs> and yet a man has only 4,000 nerve endings, no matter how large he is, 4,000 compared to a woman's 8,000 pleasure nerve endings. And that doesn't count that those nerve endings connect to another 7,000. Women have 15 thousand nerve endings in their genitalia area. That's why a woman is completely insatiable and so dominant sexually that our society has to control that because we fear the power of women. True statement? Sex in the brain? Your brain releases amazing chemicals. All you have to do is think about sex if it's a really sexual situation. And what is fantasy? Thinking about your favorite situations. If you're having difficulty achieving orgasm, guys or gals, don't count baseball cards. Allow yourself to open up your mind. There is certain hormones, oxytocin, PT-141, that hits the fantasy area. There are some amazing things that happen within the brain. So we, well, we know that the comparison of what's called hypnotherapy or hypnosis in only six sessions has a 93% success rate with helping a woman to achieve orgasm. Why? Because once you help a woman during hypnosis to release their inhibitions and to get to their inner core values and help them to feel, to express and know that this is a fine and a beautiful thing, your woman will have the most amazing orgasms once you stimulate her brain and know how to activate that. So in our Neuro Reprogramming course, you can go right now, take your phone, and you'll get my five-hour book. How many here read every book you buy from cover to cover and you have the time to read every book? No matter how good the book is, which this is the best book written on the subject, you will have difficulty in most cases. I'm giving you a gift tonight. That gift is if you take your phone right now and you text the word love to 650-294-8031, it'll ask, uh, hey Judy, just uh, 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 say yes, I think it says something about, um, I need your email, you drop your email, and someone do it and tell me what it says. And we just set it up tonight for you. You'll, this. what's it say? It says, hi, Dr. Nick um, Delgado here. Uh, wanna be a star in the bedroom? And then it says tap, to load preview. Okay, so what you'll get 
is a five-hour reading of me and one of my best colleagues, a female colleagues, who read the book for you on Valentine's Day. It took us eight hours in studio. It's a five-hour reading that's professionally read. And that would be normally, what, five, 50 bucks to 100 bucks to get an Audible book? 50 bucks at least, Audible books. I listen to a lot of Audible books. 176 books a year I review on Audible because it's just easy to listen to books. How would you like that, a male-female reading with emphasis and even tips and comments beyond what the book says because it's the author who did the book. So take a moment to do that. And if you like, also get my hypnosis scripts at DelgadoProtocol.com. You go to product store and you look up neuro reprogramming and you can uh, download under the hypnosis section my best scripts for sex, for sleep, for weight loss, for energy, for well-being. How many here would like to use hypnosis to make it so simple that you accomplish almost anything in your life you want to accomplish? It is that powerful. Male testosterone production drops with age. We have a product called Testravita. How many here do not know your testosterone level? Let me see a show of hands. Do not know. How many here would like to optimize your testosterone level to get a better level? You, sir, can you catch? Testravita, you take that uh, twice a day. It'll increase your testosterone with 10 days, and trust me, let me know. You'll be shocked and amazed how well it works. I originally was commissioned by a company called Great Sex in a Bottle. They had some early ingredients that we use now, but much more sophisticated, and that product absolutely worked. And so it's amazing. Testosterone for your heart, it's healthy for heart function. The heart has more testosterone receptors than any other organ of the body. Estrogen dominance is a reality. How many here know what estrogen dominance is in men? Men, by the age of 50, have more estrogen, that's a harmful form of estrogen, from eating meat than any other source of contaminants, not from plastic bottles, xenoestrogens, and dairy products. The highest source of contaminants come because animals have what? Estrous cycles. They're loaded with estrogen. I don't care if they're not hormone treated. You are consuming massive amounts. 10 to the seventh. You know what 10 to the seventh? Any mathematicians in here? What that number is? One, Jesus, you get another bottle. <laughs> Estroblock. No, what? You know what? I'm going to give you Testrogenesis cream. This is rocket fuel. But before I give this to you, we're going to pass it around and people get a little squirt and you just rub it on your skin like Jenny. Oh, no, you can't do that. Jenny would be the perfect model for that. You just, you just put it like, can you see it on my neck? It's like all over now, Jesus. I wish it was that. <laughs> okay, you just rub it in. I, you don't need that much. Trust me, you're gonna be like crazy if you use. I mean, crazy with sex with that. But it, it balances out uh, four hormones. Hey, women should put this on, right? Hell yeah! Um, excuse me. Yes, women can use it. <laughs> um, women have the same hormones, just in different levels. I just don't use so much. Jesus. Why do, why do women outlive men? Women outlive men for two reasons. Uh, one is, I, be I believe that men have a belief as a dominant uh, athletic male. They think they have to eat meat to be strong, and it causes their arteries to clog, and men have a higher incidence of heart attacks and cancer and stroke than women. But women are gradually catching up to men because they think it's cool to eat meat and dairy as well, and cheese. But look at these bellies on these guys and the breath. Do you know who The Rock is, Dwayne Johnson? Look up, type in gynecomastia man boobs, and you'll see The Rock pops up on a high search engine. And also, have you heard of Brock, uh, Brock Lesnar, UFC fighter, big heavyweight? Big man boobs. They both had surgery because they have so much testosterone they inject. They don't know how to manage their estrogen levels. And I'm teaching you how to manage 38 different hormones. We're the world experts in hormone management. So if you want our services, come to us at DelgadoProtocol.com. Text that information, you'll learn what herbs, what supplements, and how countries around the world have learned about sweet, yam, sweet yams, the extract to derive testosterone, uh, how to assess the hormones, blood, urine, and saliva. And we, we're doing these tests at our booth. What booth number are we? Booth 90? Hold on a second. 90, come to our booth. We're doing the same microscope tests under a high-powered microscope that I did for Tony Robbins, and I charge $1,000 an hour, and here I'm giving my time free. I'm the father of five children, ages 10 to 40, and my youngest uh, son is 10 years old, and I'm a grandpa now. Who uh, My uh, daughter gave birth to a beautiful child a month ago, Rue, and my uh, oldest son's uh, expecting in August. And um, the tragedy of my life was 26 years ago, uh, with the love of my life, Shelly, when, when my son was born, she had hyperthyroidism, 
And the doctor, um, after four days of labor, sent her home with headaches and swelling. And on Thanksgiving morning, she died of uh, congestive heart failure. And so I raised my son uh, 26 years, over 26 year period, with the thought that somehow I could master the understanding of hormones and save other lives. And so that's why I do what I do. I've been blessed to make discoveries like uh, I discovered a cure, I can't use the word cure, can I? I discovered a solution to acne, so I found the top board certified dermatologist in the world, Dr. Sonia Batterisi Banasel, and this book came out, it's helped 50,000 young people clear up their acne, a condition that affects over 80% of kids with hormonal acne and adult acne. And this, this book's available at, at, at the booth as well, and I have an online course that's available as well. My goal is to continue to create online courses and programs and books so that it's so easy for you to master what took me somewhere close to 40 years to figure out training with the top masters in the world about nitric oxide. Come to our booth 90. Uh, we're doing some free nitric oxide testing. We are doing a microscope test there. We have another product called Beat Vitality. So who had the answer of how do you know clinically if a woman achieves orgasm? Who has the answer in the room? I can't ask you. You have too many answers. You in the very back. No, for sure? Yes. Well, it's the expression of the, the uh, squirting orgasm. Like really, really what we're saying, right? Well, squirting is the end result of stimu proper stimulation of the G-spot, but I won't take that because it's not 100% of the time of other types of orgasm. Yes, sir. She tells you, no, <laughs> I'm trying to give this away. Someone's got to have the answer. Whole body shakes, no, yes. Sally met Harry, it's no, they, they, they're the great actresses of the world. Yes, beds all what, no. Contractions where? Vaginal contraction. No. Cigarette. Where? Cigarette. God, what? Thank you, God. Oh, <laughs> you guys are great. I'll give you, you want the answer? Okay. Oh, you have an answer? Oh, you want the answer? You want it? You ask for it? You get it. Catch. We have Beat Vitality on special. It releases massive amounts of natural nitric oxide, which is essential for incredible orgasms and longevity. It also has amino acids that stimulate what's called growth factors for rejuvenation. And niacin, if you use too much, you get that niacin flush. Don't worry about that. Just use a little less next time. But that's an amazing freaking product. It's on special now at our booth for only $30, $29 regular 57 So you should take advantage of it before we sell out. Okay, the answer. You ready? Okay. You've done the proper stimulation, either oral sex. You've stimulated an area of her body, one of the 13 erogenous zones. You've put the magic wand vibrator on long enough and sufficient in the right area. She clearly is moaning and excited and ec ecstatic. And she may or may not squirt, depending on if you touch her G-spot in the right way or not. The only way to know is to take your little finger. She'll be in such a heightened state, she won't notice, touch her anus, and when it starts contracting very rapidly for about 12 seconds or longer, she has had the most amazing, intense orgasm. And then, time after time, you bring her down amplitude, bring her back up, down and back up. You feel the contraction. She's had, who knows, my friend says 10, 15 orgasms during the course of a session. Maybe that's too much, and it's a little exhausting. you got to build up to that. So even it's enough, guys, to have her have at least three orgasms as a rule of thumb before you enter her. How many here are willing to take the Delgado uh, pledge of mastering love, sex, and intimacy? You must please your woman at least one to three times, and you verify that it's taken place. Raise your hand. Good men. All right. Give them a hand. You have graduated the course. PT-141, an amazing uh, sub, uh, subcutaneous that increases... Uh, pleasure and orgasm response to the sexual fantasy, the most incredible erections you'll ever experience. Passion pill and Amori. By the way, um, Jenny, can you stand up and show your shirt? She, she's wearing the Passion Girl Amori shirts. And we have some samples for 
Anyone want a sample? Raise your hand, and we only have a few to hand out. You take one capsule an hour before intimacy, it'll be a mind-blowing experience. Women experience as well. Women like the passion pill more, though, and I don't know. At the booth we have. Right now we have a Mori for the guys. Uh, how many here, since I said do not know your testosterone level, my friend likes to maintain his testosterone level to that of about a 22-year-old. So that means a man's testosterone should not be the average for a man age 65. It should not be under 300 and be told that's normal. It should be about 1,200 to 1,500 and you will feel like a rock star. All your inflammation in your body goes away. You feel like 20 years younger. You look better. You feel better. And that's just one of 38 hormones that we help you to balance. You will be a rock star. We show you how to balance your stress adrenals. How many here are under stress in LA? Everyone. We can help you with that. Importance of sleep, quality sex leads to quality sleep. We're gonna do a blood analysis for only $40 for dry, 40 for live, the same I did for Tony Robbins where they spent over $10,000 to be there. Said that was the most amazing experience of the event. And we look at your nitric oxide, your immune system, your white blood cells, beat vitality. We have several products at the booth to tell you about. And of course, my book, Mastering Love, Sex, and Intimacy with Simply Healthy, Vegan, Oil-Free, Stay Young. And there's really tasty foods to eat. How many here like Asian food? Let me see a show of hands. How many here like Mexican food? Let me see a show of hands. How many here like Italian food? All those foods are represented how to prepare them without them being greasy and fatty. And we'll show you how to get rid of free radical damage, how to deal with cancer and other conditions, although we don't cure cancer. We work with stage four cancer patients in helping them to build up their immune system on the right diet, the right sleep patterns, the right environment, the right uh, supplements. We evaluate hormones. I'm um, what I am for the coaching, but just text the word love to 650-294-8031. How many did? If you did, you come to the booth, show me that you did, and I'll give you a special gift at the booth. And it's only 333 per month for coaching. That includes our webinars, our direct coaching in Costa Mesa, California, and at least one session with me, which is normally 1,000 an hour, and I commit to you to help you to get the absolute best outcome result, the best sex of your life, the best health of your life. And with, with healthy sex, you're gonna accomplish more in your career because you'll always be smiling. You know the number one thing they saw on Match.com was they look for is a smile. Everyone smile right now. <laughs> See you at my booth, 90. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Remember, our online course, regular $250 for 25 today only. Text that and we'll follow up and give you that course available for only 25. And we do have uh, some sex uh, CDs. We'll pass them out at my booth, 90. Take care.